Hello, on this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and run the WebGoat on a Kali machine. Now, you don't really install the WebGoat, but you do need to download the jar file and run it. So let's open the Kali machine and let's get going. All right, here's my Kali machine. The username is Kali and the password is Kali as well. I'm gonna click right here and open a web browser and then I'm gonna search for web goat. And that brings me to the OASP website. And here on the OASP website, I'm gonna click on standalone jars. So download and then standalone jars. And that takes me to the GitHub website. The latest version today is version 8.1. I'm gonna scroll down and then click on WebGoat server, save the file, and then once it's downloaded, I'm gonna click on the folder, and that brings me to the download folder, which is where I downloaded the WebGoat. I'm gonna right click right here and then open terminal here. And now I'm gonna do a ls, just to make sure that the web goat jar is there in this folder. And yes, it's right here. And I'm gonna type Java dash jar, and then the name of the jar that I downloaded from the web goat. I'm gonna press enter. And then here I see a lot of logs, but the most important one for you is this one right here. And this log says it's running on port 88 and the path is forward slash web goat. So I'm gonna copy this and remember the port is 8080. I'm gonna go back to my browser and then I'm gonna go to localhost port 8080 and then the path to web goat. Press enter and then the web goat website shows up. I'm gonna register a new user. And now for the username, I'm gonna type Grievous. Then my password is going to be ABC123. Then click on agree and then click on sign up. Then once you log in, you end up here in this page and you can browse around through introduction and general and everything else. I'm gonna click on injection, which is the SQL injection. And I'm gonna click on the first item right here. And then explains about the lessons. And I'm gonna click on the next one, which is number two. And here explains you what a SQL is, gives you a table, and then it gives the opportunity to do some testing here. So here, all they want is for you to write a query to retrieve the employee Bob Franco. So I know Bob Franco is right here in this table and I know the table name, so this query is easy. Just select everything flowing price where user ID equals Bob Franco's ID is 96134. Then I submit. and I got it wrong. And the reason I got it wrong is because I misspell employees. So I'm gonna spell right this time. Then I'm gonna click on submit again, and then success. So this is how you go through each of the lectures. So I'm gonna go to the next one. And the next one is data manipulation language, where you update, insert, delete, and do other commands. And I'm gonna click right here, and the most important command for this now is like and subscribe. And if you click on submit here, you were definitely not gonna get the right solution, but it is the right thing for you to do for this video. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.